In this video, we're going to explore pH of an acid and a base and what that um, solution looks like when an indicator is added. An indicator is usually a dye molecule that is a different color, depending on if it's in an acidic environment or a basic environment. And today we're going to be using an indicator that is uh, pea butterfly pea flower tea. Um, I've actually made this by mixing it up and you can see some of the flowers in it right here. They're kind of gross because they've been seeping in water. Um, they're a blue flower that um, produces kind of a blue tea that in acidic solutions turns pink. It's really beautiful. Um, we also have to look at the pH of a solution besides a visual cue, we have a pH sensor. These are the Vernier um, lab pH sensors that we use and it's paired with a tablet that right now is reading the pH uh, that, the, that it's, and I'll, I'll put it up like this. So right now it's reading about 4.8, but that's because it's in air and it's probably freaking out. Um, so let's start with water and let's look at both the measured pH value and then also we'll look at the, um, what it looks like when we add our indicator dye. So we have both. So right now, this is just tap water from my faucet. Looks like it's getting to be pretty stable. I'm gonna set this here and lift this. So you can read that our, our water right now has a pH of 6.46. Ish. <laughs> and so that last digit's changing a little bit, um, possibly because it's up close to the glass. Um, when I take it and put it in the middle, it goes back down a little bit, but it fluctuates, similar to the way we see uh, a mass scale fluctuate, which tells us there's some uncertainty in that last digit. It's really our estimated digit. We'll record all of them. It is a significant figure, um, uh, but we're at about 6.47, 6.50, somewhere around there. So now I'm going to remove this, set it aside, and I'm going to show you the color that this forms when we add our indicator dye. So our indicator is kind of a bluish purple color. I'm going to add it to water and we're going to see that it creates a, a blue color, maybe with a hint of purple to it, depending on how well your eyes can see color or different types of color. So now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, a basic solution. So I've rinsed my probe and dried it off carefully. The probe uses a little glass bulb to measure this. So I'm going to stir it up in here. And we're going to take the pH. So the base that I have in here is sodium bicarbonate, which you probably know as baking soda. Um, it's a, a weak base and here we go. It's starting to stabilize. We can see that it has a pH of 8.25. Our sodium bicarbonate which is baking soda, has a pH of 8.25. So this is a higher pH. Let's find out what happens when we add our indicator for a visual cue of its acidity or basicity. So again, this is a pretty purpley color and I'm adding it in. And it's uh, blue, similar to the water, but it's much greener. Um, and I'm hoping that color comes through on our video. It's a lighter, greener color, but it is definitely has some blue to it. There we go. And so there's our base. Now I'm going to thoroughly clean my probe um, and rinse it off and dry it. Very thoroughly. And we're going to now look at our acidic solution. This is vinegar. This is household white vinegar. It's acetic acid. So I'm going to stir this up a little bit, let it sit. And I just, it's a, a dilute solution of acetic acid. And acetic acid is a weak acid, um, which just means that it doesn't dissociate completely in water. And we're having a pH reading of 2.31. So our acetic acid, our dilute acetic acid is, or vinegar, is a pH of 2.31. That's quite a bit uh, different from our six compared to, so that was a change in 
and four for our pH to go from our water to our acid versus what we saw was an increase in the pH of two between our water and our base. And so now again, I'm gonna add my indicator, which is that purple color. And this time I see a very pink magenta color. And so we can see that the greener or bluer something looks, uh, green blue, uh, the more basic the solution is. And if it's acidic, it's going to be a nice bright pink color. And so we can use this indicator, um, this butterfly pea flower tea, to visually indicate if we have an acidic solution or a basic solution or a neutral solution. And it's easier to see if it's acidic. 